Hello friends, in the current video tutorial, I will be teaching how to use shift registers in LabVIEW. Firstly, let's see how we can place shift registers. So this is a for loop. So if I want to place a shift register on for loop, I just have to click on the border, then add shift register. Now these shift registers are polymorphic VIs means you can make the shift register to accept values from numerics or floating point numbers or booleans or characters. So let's see if I put this number and connect it to the shift register so this becomes an integer type shift register so it will accept integer values see that this part of the shift register points towards downside so this is the left side of the shift register and this right side of the shift register is having a triangle which points towards the upper side so actually this means that values will be passed from this left side to the towards this value then all the thing would happen whatever the calculations are being done in inside the loop and then the values are generated and passed on to the right side of the shift register where arrow points upwards now this arrow point actually means that the values which are passed towards this side will be reflected back towards the inside so whatever the values are generated over here they will be passed back onto the input side but in the next iteration this this on the right side shows the values from the current iteration while from here we get the values from the previous iterations so um, we can also drag we can just drag it down and we can have values from the previous iterations such as this will have the value from the current iteration uh, previous iteration and this will have the value from n minus 2 iteration n minus 3 iteration value n minus 4 iteration value n minus 5 iteration value n minus 6 iteration value and minus 7 iteration value so this will have the current value while this will have the n minus 1 iteration value and so on let's see when we connect it to the boolean it becomes green so you can also shift back the booleans shift back means getting the values from the previous iterations you can use this corrector it will feed back the values from the, for the corrector outputs so in a sense this shift register works just like the feedback node but it has some extra things just like getting values from the previous iterations so if you connect it to the double double numeric floating point number so you will get it in the orange part let's see an example for how shift register works So I have used a for loop. One important thing I also want to mention is that you can use the shift register for the values uh, for storing in uh, not only in for loop but also in the while loop. You can use it in the while loop as well. Just like the for loop you just have to select the border of the loop and you have to select add shift register and shift register will be added. So you can use shift register not in the for loop but also in the while loop. Now uh, I have used for loop and I have 
put the uh, loop count to 5 and then I have used this is the initializer terminal of the shift register uh, so I have initialized the shift register to 0 and then I have incremented it by one value and then I pass the value to the output side of the shift register and then I, I have wired that output to the numeric so how the function works let's see so when I click run values will to ask 0 plus 1 1 1 is cut back 2 plus 1 3 4 5 and all the values are fed back so this gives 5 how this gives 5 because all the values are fed back I see I have not used the loop iteration so let me do once again with this start setting so when I do the next step 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 is fed back see 1 is fed back over here then next step 1 plus 1 is 2 and in the next loop iteration 2 is fed back 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 is fed back so similarly let's see one more example here I have used some arithmetic functions to generate some values so let's see what the output is like So you see that numeric 2 is 0. Why it is 0? Because I have initialized the terminal to 0 and 0 multiplied by anything will only return in the output 0 and when 0 is fed back again it is multiplied with 0. So numeric 2 gives 0 while other part 0 plus 2 gives 2, 2 fed back, 2 plus 2 gives 4, 2 fed back, 4 fed back, 4 plus 2 gives 6, 6 fed back. 6 plus 2 is 8 fed back and like that let's see one more example in this I have used two for loops in one for loop I have used the shift registers while in the other for loop I have not used any shift registers and I have labeled other um, outputs such as iterations and I have taken out the arrays and I have summed the elements of the arrays and different values are seen on the front panel so when I run this you see that just adding shift register changes the full arithmetic of the for loop while in the other for loop where shift registers are not used the values are quite different so you see that in the first part where shift registers are used the values generated are 0, 1, 3, 6, 10 while in the second part where uh, second for loop where shift registers are not used the values are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so this is quite different when the shift registers are used So in this program I have highlighted that which values are generated when shift registers are used and how they are fed back and how the values from the previous iterations can be taken. So values of previous iterations are very useful when we want to calculate moving average of some values. So we can take n number of previous values and we can add them and average it out by dividing them 
by those number of values so this is very important and you can drag it just like that to any number of values so I have just taken the previous 4 values because the loop count is 5 so the current count is output uh, the current output value is given over here while the 4 previous values can be taken out from here so let's see how it works so you see 1 1 comes down 3 1 comes down 3 and 6 1 comes down 3 6 10 and you just see one more thing that last iteration value is output value which is 15 now 15 is not fed back because the loop count is finished At when the loop iteration is going to the fourth iteration that means the output generated over here is 15 and 15 generated over here just exits out and goes to the output it is not fed back because feeding back, back happens in the next iteration not in the current iteration so this is all about using shift registers in LabVIEW thanks for watching my tutorial